All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Okay. Um, I'm going to start out with the PowerPoint and calendar because we have a lot going on this month and we had a super exciting March and I'm really excited to shout out all of these people. So let me share my screen. Mm. Share. Hang on, I need to move you guys. Okay. There we go. Can everybody see that? Okay. All right. So I wanted to point out, oh shoot, I can't see the whole screen, but hopefully you guys can. I wanted to point out our, oh, it says April rank ups. These are March rank ups. Sorry. <laughs> um, I wanted to point out all of our people in March that ranked up. Um, Brianna Johnson, she um, hit senior Ruby. That was a really fun exciting stressful time no i'm just kidding it was really fun um tiffany went gold pam went senior silver um emily earned silver stephanie earned silver don and taylor both went silver so i'm super excited for you guys happy for you this was an exciting month but i feel like april's going to be bigger um, some of the smartwatch earners. So both Nancy and Brianna earned two smartwatches. Um, Pam was pretty dang close. Hannah earned a smartwatch. Emily, Taylor, Krista, Carrie, Jessalyn. I hope I didn't forget anybody on this list. I feel terrible if I did. Tell me if I did, because I will Tiffany shout you out. Tiffany Bogle. Miss... Oh, shoot. Sorry, Tiffany. God oh, darn it. My bad. I was trying not to miss anyone. No um, worries. It was a big month. That was a big month for you guys. Uh, that was awesome. Um, okay. ALA. So this is something that we've like kind of not been great about celebrating, but we need to get better at this because it's a huge deal when you, so ALA means active leader achiever. Basically, it's when you add three people in a month. So you're a leader, you're adding three people. And really, this should always be our goal as a business owner. If you are wanting to see growth in your business, our goal really should be adding three a month. Um, but we wanted to recognize these people because it, that's a huge deal to add three people. It's not easy. These people aren't just like sitting around and not doing anything like if you are adding people you are working and sending messages and you are consistently posting so super proud of all of these guys um there's a lot of you in here which is awesome again i hope i didn't miss anybody um but i'm super super proud of you guys for this okay so let's go over the calendar a little bit there's a lot happening but i want to start off first of all saying that our April focus, and if you guys have been in Rising Jewels at all today, I know it's been kind of busy with all the like recognition stuff, um, but Emily kind of in one of her posts talked about this, but our focus is going to be silver duplication. So we just are coming off of a big month for a lot of people, adding a lot of people, um, and so we really want to like front load the month and kind of get those new customers like like give them really great customer care, but also like educate them on what they can do to share and how they can earn money, even if it's just paying for their product cost or going beyond that. And so we really want to front load the month. That's kind of why we we're kind of doing two calls back to back. Normally we, they're a little bit more spread out. Um, we're going to do it a little bit differently though, just because we do want to try to funnel all of our new customers to a call that's going to happen this Thursday. So I know it's a quick turnaround, um, but get in your messages, invite those new people that just started um, because we want to get them started off right. Like we want them to be happy with their products, get started right. And just so we can share some of the, the things that they can be um, kind of looking for as they're getting started. Um, and then on the 11th, it's kind of going to be a combination of stories and opportunity Zoom call. And so Emily's going to talk a little bit about kind of how to get your products paid for or how to earn money on that call. But we're also going to have some stories just for belief and inspiration. 
And so again, another call to funnel those new customers, but also any potentials to also just for the, to build their belief a little bit in our products. Um, you guys can kind of see where we still have, I mean, a couple of weeks left of accountability group and book study. And then the last two Mondays, we'll do some training and inspiration. I'll have more to come on that because I haven't quite lined everybody up yet. Um, and then the very last couple weeks of the month, we really want, since we're kind of trying to front load the month, we really want the last couple weeks of the month for you guys to host your own events. So while you're getting your new customer started and educating them on how to share and duplicate, um, ask them to host an event like that. Those are great weeks to host an event towards the end of the month. So you can get some people, um, get in some conversations and get, get the ball rolling there. Um, I'm going to go through these, um, incentives here. I can't see the chat by Lacey, the way, either. Lacey, so if you guys have questions, just yell at me. Can I interrupt you, Lacey? Can you hear yes, me? Yes, please. Um, can I just say one quick thing about silver duplication? Can you hear me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. So, you, you know, our whole focus this month is on silver duplication. So when we were thinking through as like Jules, as we were brainstorming and we were thinking like, what is going to bring growth to our teams? And if we are totally honest for the past year and a half, corporate has been incentivizing every single month for recruitment. And so sometimes it's like add one, get something, add three, get something, add six, get something. And they've been doing that for a year and a half. And we wanted to kind of change things up because we as a, as a whole, not every team, but as a whole, we've not seen like momentum and growth like we have in the past with focusing on recruiting. Um, and so when we were talking through, when are we seeing the most momentum coming? And that's when there's silver development happening. That is kind of where we started shifting things back in September of, if you guys remember that little tagline, stop the float, start the focus. And so this is all kind of playing really beautifully together of like being focused yourself, all of us individually being focused on adding three new customers a month and then getting one of them to silver. Like that should be our daily focus for, for each month. Like our daily focus is our, we're adding and developing. And so when we're thinking about duplication, the beautiful thing, and I put this in the post, the beautiful thing about duplication and helping develop new silvers is that you're actually t like tapping into all four of the business pillars. You have to be recruiting. You have to be taking care of your customers. You are helping develop them into, you know, getting money into their pocket, developing them into silvers and hopefully beyond. And then that's raising your leadership lid. And so that is all tapping into those four pillars, which is going to give you a strong foundation. And then finally, this is something that I don't think a lot of people on our team know about. Um, there's just so much that Plexus offers. And so it's really hard to like share all the amazing things. And this should be something we should be sharing more often. So we will be doing that. But three of us, at least three of us from this team have actually earned this incredibly special trip that Plexus does every single month for silver development. It's called Silver Stars. And so with our focus this month on silver duplication, my goal is for at least one of you to earn silver stars. And basically what that is, is in your levels one through three, so your people and then two people underneath them, in your levels one through three, if you grow the most amount of silvers in those levels one through three this month, the top, I, want, I think they've actually added it to five. When I earned it, it was three. They were awarding three people, but I think they actually are doing five now. Yeah, Kylie earned it, uh, Julie Oglesby earned it, and then I, I earned it. Um, and every single person that has earned silver stars they say it goes jewel. So this is like a huge thing to earn. But anyways, so I want to say there are five earners every single month that Plexus will award silver stars. And that's because their team developed the most silvers. And some months like Joanna Miller earned it when her team developed four silvers. And then you've got people who earn it when they develop 20 silvers. So don't give up if you don't feel like you're adding a ton, like you just stay the course, stay focused on that silver duplication 
And what they do is they actually fly you and a guest to Scottsdale. They put you up in this super swanky, amazing resort uh, for three nights. I think it was three nights. They give you, when I did it, they give you $300 cash. They give you like this amazing swag bag with all this Plexus stuff. You do it like an exclusive tour of corporate. Um, your, your picture is like plastered all over corporate. And so as you're doing a tour, like you're seeing your picture everywhere. People are like congratulating, celebrating you for being there. When I did it, they gave us a spa day. I mean, it's amazing. You have, you have a meal with the executives. Like it's incredible. And it's something that not many people talk about. And so I would love to see somebody from our team earn silver stars this month. So that's the plug um, that I wanted to put in for silver duplication. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, let's go over some of the incentives here. Um, so I don't know if you guys all saw this, but for anybody that got a reset in March, they're going to get a, a, a unique code emailed to them and they can use that code to invite a friend. And actually, I just read in the help center, it's good through May also. So it's that code is good through April and May, according to the help center. Um, so that's something to we should be messaging all of our new VIPs that got in on the free reset from last month and make sure they see that code and they invite a friend to do it with them because their friend's going to get a free reset April or May. Okay. And then a walking pad, you guys, if you enroll six VIPs or you add three people and develop a level one silver, you are going to earn a walking pad. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> Hope you guys are too. Um, so it is Plexus's 16 year anniversary or birthday, I guess I should say 16th birthday. And so for our new customers, the code GIVE16 is going to give them $16 off their initial order, as long as it's 100 PV or more. And then we still have that retention code for current customers, the SAVE10 code. So anybody that isn't hasn't ordered in 30 days, as long as they order 50 PV or more, they can get $10 off with that code. So that code is still good. Um, we still have the rank rewards going on, so they are still rewarding us for maintaining or ranking up. So if you're a gold through a senior Ruby, you have the opportunity to get these bonuses. So it's anywhere from $100 to $250, depending on your rank. And then product of the season is sleep. So basically what this means is they've added that to the perks portal. So you can actually get a bottle of sleep for 250 perks, just add it to your subscription. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and then this is our last month for convention contest. So I, I have I can't see where anybody is sitting with their credits. Um, but really, there's nothing different we need to do. We as long as you guys are doing like our goal is to add three every month or go for the walking pad, add six or three in silver. Obviously, this month we're going to focus on duplication. So that's going to get you credits towards a convention contest. <clears throat> and then the very last thing I'll share about is um, us jewels are teaming up and we wanted to recognize and award you guys for creating level one silvers. And so every time you create a silver, um, you get to pick a prize. And so Emily picked out some really awesome prizes because she's so good at that. <laughs> um, but every time you create a level one silver, you pick a prize. So lots of things, fun things to be working for this month. Um, M, do you have anything to add to that? No, I think just remembering that customer, customer uh, call this Thursday night, all of the 200 people that we added to our team, make sure they know this is a really great call for you to jump on Thursday night. You're going to learn how to take your products. You're going to have some education. You're going to have a really great, beautiful nurse, former nurse, be able to walk you through troubleshoot, answer some of your questions. So you make sure you want to jump on. And the beautiful thing with that is that gets them comfortable with getting onto Zooms. And then in that call, we're going to tell them about the big call that I'm doing in two weeks on the 11th. And I'm actually asking some solid, incredible diamonds to come and share their story. So it's not going to be like just a meh, meh kind of story. It's going to be an incredible event. And that's the only event we have this, this month. Woohoo! All right. Well, without further ado, I believe I saw Brittany pop on here a little bit ago. Um, so 
we have Brittany Duke is going to be speaking at us today. Um, she is a Ruby brand ambassador. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to hear Brittany speak because for one thing, she's just hilarious. <laughs> if you follow her on social media, if you don't, you need to. Um, but she's just very genuine and she's so good at just intertwining Plexus with normal life stuff. And yeah, it's just so fun to watch. But um, I'm excited for you guys to hear a little bit about her story. So Brittany, take it away. I'm going to stop my screen share here so I can see you. All right. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I am outside and I didn't realize it was going to be like pitch black. And so um, I've brightened my screen. There are frogs croaking. If y'all feel like it is too loud, background noises, like just interrupt me and I'll go inside. Um, but I'm mostly hiding from like children and things like that. So thank you for that introduction, Lacey. I like scrolled through all the people on this Zoom and I was like, I love this team so much. Like they're not my team, but everyone on this team is so nice to me. Always have been like, i jumped into y'all's mosh pit one convention or something. And I feel like ever since then, I'm just like, oh, I just really like a lot of people on here. So anyways, um, I know a lot of y'all know me. I know a lot of you don't. I talk a lot with my hands. I'm going to get really excited and probably talk a little bit too fast. Um, I'll probably cry at least once, but it's going to be all fun. It's all good. Okay. So I, I know whenever I, I was thinking back whenever I first started and how people would come and tell these kind of stories, they would kind of share their timeline stories or explain like all these struggles they had in their businesses. And I was like, hold on, I'm new. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. And I don't know why we're having this sad story and all these, you know, problems. And so if you're new and you're crushing it, or maybe you're in a season where you are just doing so well, like I want to celebrate you. And I want you to know that the things I'm talking about, whether they're in your future or not, I just want you to kind of imagine like, what would it feel like if you were in that position? Um, I know you're not there right now, but just think to yourself, like, what would I do in that situation? Or how would that feel? Um, but I promise it's not all sad. It's going to be some really great things. And as I, I share about these things, I want to give you all some little tidbits and looking back on these moments, because that hindsight is 2020, just some, some mistakes I made along the way. And hopefully some of you newer people and people who've been here a long time can just learn a few things so that you don't make the same mistakes I did. So um, I started back in, I actually started products in September of 2019 which is crazy. Um, I'm not going to go into my product testimony, but basically I was in a high season of a lot of stress. I actually was coming off of physical therapy school. I know we have some PTs on this call. Love y'all. Um, and I was like caring for a baby and a sick dad. And so that's why I started Plexus. And I was really stubborn. And I didn't say one word about me taking Plexus or share about it at all until January of 20. 21. So we're talking over a year of taking products. So those of you that have asked someone to share and they've said no kindly or rudely, um, keep asking them as they share wins with you, keep asking them because that's what my sponsor did to me. And she would just randomly say, you should share that. And I'd say, thanks. Um, and I didn't until January, 2021. And when I decided to post, I was like, I'm just going to post in my stories because truthfully that felt safe. And it felt like something I was like, I'm just going to do that. And I didn't make a real post on my feed until like February. And so don't make that mistake because yes, it was great posting in my stories. And I did sign up people. I did quickly do silver, senior silver even gold and senior gold. But my, my point of that is, is once I made that first post, finally, that's when I truly had like a list of people to reach out to and people that I was like, wow, I'm actually kind of shocked that so-and-so would be interested in this. And so I, I just want to encourage you. Like, I feel like I made my post and I threw my phone across the room because I was just like, <laughs> can't believe like people are going to read that. Um, but it is worth it. Doing that scary thing totally is worth it. So that was my first mistake. Um, and then basically I, I went all the way to senior gold without a ton of business builders. I'll be honest with y'all. Um, that was my next mistake <laughs> because what happened is I wasn't asking people to share. I wasn't asking people when they would tell me their wins, I would celebrate the crud out of them, but I wasn't 
asking them to go make a post. I wasn't asking them to go shout me out or tag me or anything like that. I would just celebrate them. And I was just really good at customer care and retention. And I just grew that way. Um, but then what happened is in June and July of that first year, I had an almost gold because kind of by accident, um, she was actually a former student of mine and she was actually already in the network marketing business. Um, and basically she was coming out of it. She was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And she started seeing me post and she was like, maybe I have some questions about Plexus. So I was really open and honest with her. And truth be told, it was, it was easy because I was able to just kind of throw out the jargon and the lingo. She understood it. She started posting. She'd already loved the products and, um, she was an easy first business builder. So honestly, y'all, I didn't learn a lot with her. I was just kind of letting her do her thing. Um, and we kind of cruised that way for a little while. And I hung out in the three hundreds, my points were in the three hundreds, um, pretty much all the way through my first year of doing Plexus. And, um, but really by the end of that year, no one on my team was above like 50 points. Um, I basically had two kind of worker bees and they weren't above 50 points. And so it was really just kind of like cruise control. And in that, that I remember that fall was a really tough season, like personally. Um, and it was one of those things where I felt like that was my first time when I had to decide like, am I going to be tough and kind of get through this? Or am I just going to say, you know what, things are really hard for me personally right now. And I'm just going to like not do anything with Plexus. Um, and that was kind of one of my first hard decisions I had to make. Um, and it was, it was one of those decisions that like I had support, like my uplines were supporting me and they were like, we'll support you either way. Um, but I think I was the kind of person where I felt like that me doing my plexus work felt very comfortable. Um, it felt, sorry, comforting. It felt something like it was something that was there. I could like do a checklist and that felt very comforting. And so I actually poured more into my business at that point. And so I share that because there have been other times in my business where people on my team have gone through hard seasons, um, whether they had had a miscarriage or whether they had, um, gone through like some marital issues or were struggling financially. And I really got nervous to, kind of push them in their business because I was like, I don't want to push you in this season if it's too much for you. And so what I started doing is I just started asking people. I just started saying like, I know you're going through a lot. What do you need from me? Do you want me to hold you accountable? Would you like for me to keep you on the group threads and keep messaging you or or how are you feeling? And truthfully, of the, you know, call it four or five people that have have been in those seasons, they've all said, no, like, don't leave me out, please. Like, please keep including me. Um, I may not put up the same numbers or whatever, but like, please keep including me. And that's how I felt too. And so that's something I think moving forward, definitely keep that in mind. Have those hard conversations because, because it can be kind of hard. Um, and you don't know, though, unless you ask. Um, so that was kind of like through that first year. And then in January of, let's see, yeah, January of 2022, um, I, yeah, I feel like things were just kind of like cruising along. Um, I did get a new business builder um, and it was a person, let me think, was that then? This timeline stuff is hard, y'all, when you've been here for like, some of y'all been here for like almost 10 years. And I'm like, I don't know how you go back and do it. Cause I was like, was that 22, 23? Um, anyways, we're just going to jump to March, 2022, because that's when I actually went Ruby. And that's when I went, um, that was two years ago, y'all, two years ago that I went Ruby. And I don't know if y'all saw when she introduced me, but she said, this is Brittany and she is Ruby. <laughs> okay. So hi, I'm still Ruby. Um, and you know what? That's okay. Because we're going to talk about that right now. So I went Ruby and truthfully, the only person I had a level one that had 200 points under me and I had a level two that was under her. So same leg, if you know that terminology who had 150, and, um, I had some silvers, like that was it. And so I worked my booty off my Ruby month and I was doing a lot of like asking people to post and people adding one and two and things like that. And that's how I went Ruby. I ended at like 555. Um, and then like, this is the like, dun, 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 like the lull happened. Okay. Like, and it was one of those things where, um, 
I just honestly, after I hit Ruby, I was like, woohoo, like I made it. And I kind of just started chilling. And after in like April and May, like I vividly remember watching my numbers go down and just being like, okay like it's cool like if I want to start trying harder like I can and I will um but that's kind of what I did and so there's my next mistake is that we had had some momentum and even though I felt like truthfully I had generated a lot of it at that point um I still had momentum and I had people that were willing to share that month and then I kind of just didn't go anywhere further with them and so that was a big mistake um and in that summer, um, I kind of finally decided like, I'm going to have to change something because like nothing changes if nothing changes. And I started realizing that a lot of, I would call people in my very close inner circle, y'all, they didn't want to do plexus with me. And as much as I wanted that with them and I wanted my best friends from high school and I wanted my best friends from college to do plexus with me, they kept kindly telling me, no. <laughs> and so I was like, well, my, my customers aren't really wanting to do the business. They would post or something, but they weren't really going anywhere from there. And so I started getting on Instagram and just finding people that I enjoyed conversing with. And so this is a quick little tidbit of how I met um, my friend who's now one of my really good friends in the summer of 2022 is I actually, um, we follow the same boutique in town. Um, I live in New Braunfels, Texas, and we follow the same little boutique and the boutique reposted something that she had shared and tagged them in. And I was like, who is this little girl? She had a funny little tag name. And I was like, I just kind of stalked a little bit. <laughs> and, um, I was like, honestly, she seems really fun and cute. And, you know, she obviously has to live close to here. She went to this boutique and we just started like an online friendship. I literally remember messaging. I started following her and I messaged her and I said, I know I'm really creepy and you don't know me, but I'm following you because I cracked up when I saw your Instagram handle. And after some brief stalking, I thought you looked really fun. And I I just wanted to follow you. And she was very receptive of that. She was like, sounds good, girl, like (laughs) follow along. And so that's what we did. I didn't say, oh, also I saw Plexus and do you want to do Plexus with me? Like we just, I just honestly was like, let me just like see who this girl is and we'll see. Um, and then really honestly, that fall, like nothing was super exciting. I'll be really honest with y'all. Um, that fall of October, 2022, um, my sponsors started backing out of the business a little bit. And it was something that this is when I was like, I'm probably going to cry during this part, but like, I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Um, but it's because she's a really good friend of mine and we weren't really that great of friends prior to Plexus. And we actually used to date the same guy, which is a funny story for another day, but, um, we became very good friends. And when that started happening, that was when one of my, probably my second hard decision came in the business. I was like, wait, what am I going to do? Like, we were like, this in this business. And I was like, well, I mean, I know everyone says like your business is not dependent upon your sponsor, but I was like, but I'm here with her. Like we are like thick as thieves, you know? And so that was when my next big decision came and I had to decide, like, was I just going to be like, okay, well, I guess I just get to be a little orphan in me without a sponsor or like, am I just going to go do something else? Um, or am I going to like put on my big girl panties and keep going, um, and, and figure something out. And obviously y'all know that I figured something out. <laughs> um, and I think a lot, that is when I really started, um, truthfully making close relationships with people outside of my team. Um, and so there are, there are girls on this call that like I became really close with. I went to something called Ruby's on the rise. Um, I had ranked Ruby that year. Remember in that fall, I got to go to Ruby's on the rise. Um, I met some wonderful friends there and I got, I got to just see, like, I'm not the only one struggling. Like, why do I keep feeling sorry for myself? Um, and so I was just like, I kind of got out of that grumpy stage and I just decided like, I need to come up with my own scoreboard. The points and the rank is not serving me (laughs) because when I see those numbers just hanging out, um, I wasn't growing, but I wasn't going backwards a ton. And I just like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't good for me. And so I decided to start 
almost creating my own games with myself. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be really excited this month if I have like three people post, or I'm going to be super pumped this month if I you know, have three people come to the opportunity zoom. And I know y'all are having one of those. And so I was so glad y'all mentioned that because that's like, those are the kind of small wins I, I searched for. And so the month would go by, I would have grown zero points and even gone backwards, but you can even ask, um, Jordan Roddenberry, like she would come and be like, how are you doing this month? And I was like, awesome. Great. Like I feel, I feel really good. I feel like I'm growing even though my points don't show it. And I felt like that was a theme for me last year um, because don't get it twisted, y'all. I had all the support in the world. Like, don't feel sorry for me one second. I had a million people I could have turned to for advice and that's what I did. Um, but it was that kind of mindset shift of like, I've got to go figure out something else because this isn't working. So I searched for people. I searched for people who were positive. They were fun. They were working toward goals. Um, and I just went and like became friends with them. We pushed together, we talked together. Um, and I just quit feeling sorry for myself, truthfully. Um, so that's kind of my next like tip, or I don't know what you want to call it is like, when was the last time you went and sought out someone outside of this zoom? Like, have you ever gone and just like maybe followed Plexus people and then started a conversation with them on the side? Or if you're a teacher, like, have you ever gone and found other teachers? Um, you know, it, it, there's a lot to say on that. Um, but basically that, that friend that I met on Instagram the summer before in January of 2023, she finally decided she wanted to post and run with the business. And y'all, she became such a good friend of mine. Um, this month, she actually went senior gold. This is what I'm going to cry. It's fine. Um, this month, she actually went senior gold. And we have just had fun doing this business together. We didn't, we weren't skyrocketing. We weren't doing anything crazy, but we just decided we were going to have fun. Um, I gained another business builder from a Facebook post in a mom's group um, last September. And in November, y'all, I thought I literally reached the peak and the pinnacle because my team added 32 VIPs. And I was like, y'all, 32 VIPs in November, like I'm never going to top this. <laughs> and it felt so refreshing because I had girls who were excited. Um, it was huge. I actually got up to 485 that month and I didn't even want to like, force anything to get to 500 because I trained myself so well that 500, it didn't mean anything. Like I was like, whatever, I don't care. Um, and so we hung out at 485 that month and it was great. Um, and yeah, so we went a little backwards after that. And I ended February last month at 332 points. And this month, y'all, it was nuts. Remember that 32 VIPs that I was so jazzed about? Still jazzed about it, though, you know. Um, this month, we added 66 new VIPs. Um, and, like, what in the actual world? <laughs> that number, I seriously, like, I still can't get over it. Um, my friend Maddie, who I was talking about in the summer, she went senior gold. I have another girl who's about to rank senior gold. And, and they're duplicating. It is, it is something that's so beautiful because I'm watching them create a gold and several senior silvers and things like that. And I'm not doing that. Um, and so that is very, very cool. And we ended our points at 673 last month. And I like, so we went from 332 to 673 and I'm still like, honestly shocked. And I'm kind of glad I'm having this conversation right now. Cause I'm like, wait, that just happened. And that was like last night. Crazy. Don't you love when it hits the zeros at 11 PM my time? So lame. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Like that is my story. Um, I've kind of already talked about things I've learned, but basically like you you get to make your own story. And I don't know if next month we're going to crash down again, but here's what I know is if that happens, I can handle it. You know, um, I don't, I know it's not going to happen actually. Like we're going to go senior Ruby next month, but, um, if that does happen in the future, y'all, like I'm not going to die and it's going to be okay. And if you decide that you just want to create your own wins and stop staring at your points and things like that. And you want to go find people that are positive and working and you can have fun with like you can. Um, and so, yeah. And if people quit, like that's okay too. That used to make me really sad. Um, and you can also still be friends with them. I'm still friends with people who quit my team. Um, we don't do plexus together, but we're still friends. Um, yeah, 
I don't know. That was really long. I think I went way over, but um, do y'all have any questions? I'm okay with questions. If y'all have questions. Hey, wow. Ashley, thanks. I see you. That was awesome, Brittany. No, that was super good. Like all your tips were so good. Like this is what I did. Don't do this. <laughs> I think like it's incredible your mindset shift of not focusing on points. And I love the idea of giving yourself challenges. Like I know you're a competitive person. So like that's like just something to keep it fun for you. And I think that's something we all need to remember is like, am I still having fun with this? Like, don't get so focused on, oh, I got to hit this rank or I got to, I want to get this many points. Like, just keep it fun. Cause it's like, this business is fun when we're having fun. <laughs> right. Um, does anybody have any specific questions? Speak now or forever hold your peace. That was so um, good. I just put it in the chat. Um, do you have other things like besides, like I wrote down I mean, you're going to be happy this month if three people post. Do you have other things like that that you could give us like maybe a list of that Emily could put in our um, messenger thread? Yeah, let me think about it and I'll and I'll text him and that way I don't sit here and just like blab off the top of my head, but I'll come up with a list of like random things that I I would do or work toward um, and I'll send them to him. Sweet. So good. Brittany, so good. I have a question. So yeah. you said that you were nervous to post posts. And so you just stuck with stories. What do you say to the people who are like, I don't even want to do stories. I've got really judgmental family and friends. I feel like they're going to, they're not going to be supportive. Like, what do you say to things like that? They want it, but they're really afraid to share on social. So they're going to go create their own Facebook page. So no one will see it except the people they invite. Um, Ooh, that's hard for me because, well, here's funny. No one in my family orders plexus except my mom. <laughs> um, and so do I know exactly what they're saying behind my back? Like not necessarily, but also, oh, I think I've just gotten to the point in my life, y'all, where I hate the phrase that, that people say when they say, I don't care what other people think, because honestly, I think you should care about what other people think. I think that's how you're empathic and how you, you portray yourself and things like that. But I do think that then you need to do some soul searching on why are you feeling like your worth is going to be determined by what other people are going to say about you. So like, is, is that really going to change your worth if someone were to say something about that post and, you know, maybe it's going to even take you having, cause I had some hard conversations with some people that I wanted to ask them to support me in my business, but I was really nervous about it. And they still said no. And, but I just told him, I said, I'm nervous to talk to you about this because I know that you are a very skeptical person in general. And so maybe they just need to have some of those hard conversations with their family members and be really honest because I just have a feeling that those, that their family members probably wouldn't mind as much as they think they would. Um, that and I mean, there are ways to build this business outside of social media. I will say I'm pro social media. Um, but if they feel more comfortable doing things like in person, um, and they feel like they're willing to do that, then start there. Um, and when you get gain a little more confidence with that, then move into the social media space. But I personally believe social media is such a wonderful tool we have at our fingertips. It is silly not to use it. Um, but maybe if that's not your first step, then maybe you you go big and do something scary like do an in-person event. Uh, Gina asked about somebody who doesn't like to take pics of themselves. They don't want to post because they don't want to post pictures of themselves. Why? <laughs> Go follow me on social media. I never have makeup on. Like I always like have my hair in a hat or it's greasy. And like, I just make fun of myself and post it anyways. Like no one, when you're not relatable, like no one is going to want to talk to you anyways. If all of your pictures are perfect, no one's, no one's gonna feel like you're a mom that was struggling today with your children, you know, <laughs> like, um, and if, if you don't want to, okay, a generational age generation. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go find you some people who 
look like you or are your age and you want and and that are doing that because there are people um I met a wonderful woman named Phyllis at Ruby's on the Rise I still talk think about her still talk to her um and she and Gina I don't know how old you are um I don't I don't know how old y'all are but I <laughs> Phyllis shattered my thoughts on people in Plexus because she was about, uh, I think like in her low seventies and she, y'all, I was in the cab with her and she was like whipped out her notebook and she was doing customer care check-ins and she was calling people on the phone. She was like, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to help you fix your subscription. And she was senior Ruby and I was Ruby. And I was like, Phyllis, what are you doing that I'm not doing? <laughs> and so, um, I think you need to just go find somebody that, that again, that's that piece I was talking about. The teachers go find the teachers, us PTs. We like to chit chat. We get each other, um, go find somebody. Yes. Oh, also people in their fifties are like the best customers. Like they are religious with their, their orders. It's so good. Uh, they're also really great business builders because they are hard workers. And I feel like the ladies I have that are in their forties and fifties kill it. Like they want to do well. They know how to like do all the things because they've already raised all their babies or they're still in the process. And it's like, yeah. Totally. They don't miss and they tell their friends. Yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Brittany, so good. If anyone has any other questions, you can always message me or, or message Brittany even and I'll shoot them her way or whatever. But um, this was great, Brittany. I so appreciate you coming on and talking to us. I think everybody could relate to something you said. Like, I don't think there's a question about that for sure. So. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yep. We'll talk to you later. Bye, Britt. <clears throat> okay, so I think we can go to our book study now. I don't, can I do breakout rooms or is that an Emily thing? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are in the big leap, you're going to group one. If you're in the podcast skill set, you're going to group two. If you are in the leadership study on success as a choice, you'll go to group three. And if you are not in a book study, you're welcome to drop off now or just jump on to any of the rooms. You'll get great value out of whatever you're in. And unmute yourself if you need me to move you over. You could probably stop recording too, Em. Oh, that's right. Thank you.